two, one, and off we go. Okay, so volume of a pyramid. Some of you may remember that the volume of a pyramid is one third base times height. So I wanted to show you where this one third in front comes from. Base times height for prisms is very understandable. So you can take a look and I'm gonna assume that you know we kind of have a cube. All right, so we have a cube, all the sides are the same. Now, that basically would mean that you would have the base times whatever height the cube is or the prism is, and then you have your volume. That's not a problem. Now, for a pyramid, why is it one third? So I'll give you a simplified version. You can extend it if you like to anything that's uh, uh, not necessarily a cube, okay? Maybe something different. Okay, so what I will do is, okay, the following. So first, I will say, all right, so let's take that we have the height, which you see there in orange on the right-hand side. So that particular height, let's kind of divide it into two pieces, all right? So I'm going to say that that height, so this is, I'm going to call this height H, all right? So that's going to be halfway up. And then, of course, you have H again, which is the other half. Now, you're going to see why I'm doing that. So the, the entire thing is basically the entire height. Okay, let's call that H. So that would have been the entire height all the way up here of this, this cube. So now, this midpoint that we have, okay, so basically that is, you know, somewhere halfway and I'm going to put that in the middle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, okay, divide all my sides into half. So let's say, you know, so this is the half point here, half point here, you know, and then, you know, the half point somewhere here on the height. And I'm going to break this down and I'm gonna kind of project into this cube and put a midpoint, you know, somewhere within here. So. What I'm doing is I'm doing the following. So here is my base, all right? So that's my base. And then I'm really, what I'm doing is I'm creating, okay, a prism, okay, sorry, a pyramid. So I'm creating this pyramid here, all right? So that's the pyramid right here, where the height of the pyramid, so the height of the pyramid, okay, is basically the H. All right, it is the half point right here. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And I am, you know, so if you could project it out in here, it would have looked something like this. Now, of course, it's, it's gonna look kind of weird inside of here. All right, but it kind of would have looked like this. Okay, that's what would have been your, that's exactly this, okay? So I want you to, you know, imagine this pyramid that we that we have. Our goal is to show what the volume is, okay? So that's our height. Now our height, okay, so I'm gonna project it up back to the base. So basically it's right here. It's a right angle triangle. This is our H, okay? So that's our H there, because it's halfway through. Now the base right here, so that's inside. So that's, you know, all of this junk. Okay, so our base, okay, so that's this entire thing. Of course, we can shade this whole thing in here. So this is what I'm referring to as the base, which is, so your base is just your width times your depth, all right? Now, because I'm assuming that it's a cube, they're basically the same, but I still wanna keep it as width times uh, depth just so that you understand what that base is. So I have a base, so my base of the um, pyramid, so that's my base, all right, so that's this entire area right here, and then I have the height. Now, if you're looking at the cube, if you do this and you divide the cube, all right, where that basically kind of central point is, that centroid of that entire cube in the center, then what you notice is that you also have a pyramid, so not only from the bottom, but you also have a pyramid from the top, right? From the top base, okay? So here, this is what I mean. 
This is tough, but I'm trying to explain it and hopefully you can visualize this. So this is the, the, the top piece, all right? And oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So from the top, kind of looking down. So a pyramid flipped upside down. You know what, let me, let me do this. Let me try to be creative here. So I'm gonna take this pyramid and literally just flip it upside down. Copy it, all right? Uh, paste it and now let's roll let's flip it upside down okay so you have something like that so you have a pyramid looking down all right you have a pyramid looking up okay so you have two pyramids and now you also have the same pyramids from the sides you have four pyramids from the sides into that center so in total we have one pyramid from the bottom, one pyramid from the top, and four pyramids from the sides because we have a side in the front, side, back side, and then this side. So we have six pyramids, okay, crunched up together. All right, so this is what we have. So we have top and bottom pyramids, so they kind of look like this from the top and bottom, and then we also have four pyramids from the sides. All right, so let me come back to this. So in total, that means we have six pyramids. So if you want to know, because it is a cube, what the volume of the pyramid is, well, then that would be just one-sixth of the volume of the cube because we have six of the same pyramids. So it's one-sixth of the cube. But what is the cube? So what we have is we have the following. We have one sixth. Now, the cube is the base multiplied by, notice, by the big H, by the height of the cube. But that H, so this H, is just equal to two H's, two of these small H's, right? H plus H, which is two H. So we have basically this, two H. And notice now, so what happens, because we have this two and then the six, so the two goes into the sixth, and this is one third base times height, which is indeed the volume of the pyramid. So that's how you can kind of show where this one third comes from with some intuition with looking at a cube. You can extend this that the base Okay, meaning that it's not a cube, it's a, it's a rectangular okay, prism, and then you can create a pyramid out of that, but you would need a little bit more work. But this, I hope, gives you some intuition. Why do we have this one-third in front for pyramid volume formulas? All right? So if you understood it, you know, let me know in the comment. Put a like. I've tried the best I could with this one to try to show you, okay, for anyone who is interested. Most people will just want to memorize the volume formula, but for anyone who's going into maybe some mathematics, engineering, or something like that, they want to get some intuition of how this volume formula came about. Thanks for watching. See you in a future video.